Hi everyone, Tim the Plane Man here and welcome to Plane Time Ardu Plane Edition. So this is the beginning of what I think is hopefully is going to be a series of videos about um, exploring, understanding and starting to use the flight controller software Ardu Plane, which is the uh, fixed wing plane version of the Ardu Pilot flight controller software that also runs for drones, for helicopters, for planes, boats, for cars. Ardu Plane is the plane version and I'm interested in planes. Basically what I found was after looking around and investigating all the various different options, this particular package, the one that you'll see, the one you see on the screen, seems to include all of the pieces that I would need in one, one simple box to get a basic Ardu Plane, when I say basic, I mean Ardu Plane isn't basic, it's a microcomputer that's running on a plane with a bunch of memory and software to do a bunch of automatic control of the plane. But to do that in a simple and fairly simple and straightforward manner with everything sort of provided, I mean, hopefully we shall see, but hopefully I don't have to go out and buy knickknacks and connectors and do any soldering. Um, that's, that's what I'm hoping for. And I don't know how that's going to work out because Honestly, I have opened the box and taken a peek inside, but I haven't even plugged anything in yet. I am actually going to plug this in live uh, in this video now and see what happens. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to plug it into my computer, which I have here all set up. Um, and I am going to record the screen as I try to set up and flash the latest version of Ardu Pilot that I've uh, Ardu Plane in particular that I've downloaded off the internet which is uh, the beta version of 4.1.0 that the, where there's been some sort of improvements and fixes to the base 4.1.0 that's online and I'll give the links to where I got that from and, um, and the forums and stuff like that again that will be down below in the description you'll have to hit the show more button in the description my descriptions I mean you get a little tiny paragraph of text um, just gives the basics show more there'll be a page of information I'm also going to um, write this up on my blog I started creating a blog for this so there is a uh, there'll be a blog link where I'm, I describe a bit more of the what's behind how, how I got to where I where I am here maybe some of the things I um, I don't necessarily explain in the detail in the video uh, if you've seen my videos already you'll find that I do explain in a lot of detail maybe too much for some people you can always skip I'm gonna put channel markers in the video um, you can jump forward if some part of it is you know it you don't care um, you just want to get to the good bit uh, go forward so having said all of that let's uh, let's get started I'm gonna open the box and um, see what we've got so this should be all of the pieces required to get this machine running and I'm just going to open each thing as I go. Um, this is this is uh, the power, I think there's a, there's a special term for it, um, let me just run up and I've got the screenshots of the details uh, of all of the components in the, um, that I'll be linking to there in the, in the blog and I'll put some details below and also um, you can, uh, you, uh, and the link, uh, this information, most of this comes from the listing on AliExpress. So um, the pieces, the components that we've got here include, um, this should be the 3DR power module. Now, if you notice, the, um, the link that I've given um, has several colors in the listing. Um, there's, there's different um, options in the package from the very basic one that pretty much just includes the the flight controller and then there's a, a complete package that I think includes everything well that's the one I've got it's uh, it's called the M8N package so this is the fixed racer R15 M8N package this M8N package should include all of the options and so this is this is the power module and uh, it does say in, in bright red letters at the top of the description Pix Racer must be powered by power module and an ESC uh, by a power module. An ESC with a that cannot be used, a 
battery eliminator circuit cannot be used to power the fixed racer because the circuit board is designed like this. So please use the 3DR power module for, dis for power supply and there it is. And it's got these XT60 connectors on it so that will fit nicely with the, um, the battery and the ESC that I already have. Um, not completely obvious but how, to, how I'm supposed to plug that in. I, I'm thinking from the way that connectors go that this is supposed to be in series with the battery, like plug the battery in here and plug this part into the into the ESC. Just guessing. There's no um, information about that. Uh, I will figure that out. And if it blows up, well, you'll see that on camera. So the next thing is the actual flight controller itself. This is the uh, Pix Racer R15. Um, the Pix Racer has been around for quite a, quite some time. I went for the. Oh, I see it's um, it's actually sealed the bag. It hasn't. Yeah. See how real this unboxing is? Um, I, I haven't even opened the bag. So this is, I, opened, I had opened the power connector because I was worried about how the power and I, I wanted to make sure that I had the one that I needed and so I did that. But this part seems pretty straightforward. And what does the warning say? if the seal is found broken. Well, the seal wasn't broken because I just opened it myself. So here we go. This is the Pix Racer R15 Autopilot. It says Pix Racer. Um, the, uh, the instructions uh, say, you know, well actually let me read it. Most people mistakenly believe the Pix Racer is just a standard racer control. I'm not doing drone racing. This is not what I'm about. I'm here to do um, to put this in a plane. Well, um, many people mistakenly believe it's just a racer controller that lacks functionality of a complete autopilot system, but well, don't be fooled. Pix Racer has all the capabilities of the original Pix Hawk, including version 2 and even more, but it's optimized in size, and that's what I'm interested in. And it has just about the right amount of inputs that allow you to switch between a fully enriched autopilot stack with auto landing and full navigation to high performance racing platform. Well, that's the part that I'm interested in because it comes in a package. I don't have a board. I don't have to solder everything. All of the connectors are here. And there's my servo outputs that I'm going to want to connect. Two aileron servos, an elevator, and a rudder. And, and then there's two more. So. Um, that's that's honestly all I care about, um, and you know, I, I guess I'm, I might need one more for throttle. I'm not exactly sure how that works, and we will figure that out. But um, everything is here, all the plugs are here, and the box is closed. I don't have to do anything. I love that. This is one of the reasons why. This is almost the main reason why I bought this one. So, same simple, same straightforward. Let's see what else we've got in the box. Next, this is a bag of, seems like a bag of cables, and that would be great because, um, uh oh, and I see various different cables with unsoldered ends on it. Well, I'm not happy about that straight away. Here is a thing. I don't know what this thing even is. Um, I guess we're going to have to figure that out, and I'm guessing I'm going to have to do some soldering. Well, that's a shame. I'm going to have to do that, and. This is, I believe, um, what they call a warning buzzer, um, and I think, actually maybe that's not what that is, so uh, a safety switch and buzzer. I think this is a safety switch and buzzer, and um, I'm not 100% sure how that works either, but it sounds like a good idea to have a safety switch, so um, I, and I, this one does have a cable that um, probably is going to be looks like only one place where it could probably plug in. I'm thinking looks like um, this little connector here. Probably about the only place it'll fit. Mm. Seems like. No, that one. Well, we will figure that out. Um, but it seems like that should be the one. 
so I'll be I'll be looking that up. Oh, look at this one over here, and there's another one. Oh, this okay. There's connectors on every side. I think I I guess I better make sure I get the right one. It actually looks like there are options. That does seem like it's the only place where that can go. Um, but we're going to have to check the information and see. So I'm not going to plug that in right now, but I do think that might be where that goes. And I've got a whole, oh, some of these connectors are a little more, okay, I like this. So this one actually does have soldered ends. And to me, that kind of gives me a bit more of a warm and fuzzy feeling. Um, I'm hoping that these ends are intended to be, for example, plugged into uh, maybe the receiver and that this end goes into the flight controller and I don't have to solder anything. So let's see how that goes. This, on the other hand, seems to be about the same cable. Hmm. Yeah. So, you know, it's got one less wire. Is it? Same cable. I think, yes, one less wire. This one's, oh no, purple. Yeah. No, it's got a different set of wires, um, but it needs soldering. So I'm going to put that over there in the hope I don't have to touch it pile. And this is another one that has unsoldered wires. And this one is a larger plug with more connectors um, that also well, goes into the pile of I hope I don't have to use it. And this last one, again, um, a different size. It actually seems a little more similar to the one um, that does have the connectors on it. Yes, I think they're they are the same So that's the same connector on here one with tin wires that probably need to be soldered somewhere and One with connectors already on that. Hopefully I can just plug into something and it'll work Well, so there we go uh, We've got a USB cable and this is one of the things I really love about this so uh, We should find that here. It is there's a uh, USB connector, a micro USB connector on the side of the device. Um, this cable will enable me to connect into the computer and we'll be doing that in a minute. So I'll be connecting this to the USB uh, on the side of the computer um, and uh, we'll see what happens when, when we do that because this, the idea is that I'm going to use that to flash the latest beta version of RD Pilot onto this controller and if we can successfully do that in this video then um, that'll be great and clearly after that happens then I've got more research to do to figure out what to do next this one is one of the nicest parts of this little package it's a GPS module and this is I guess why they call this package the M8N because it includes this M8N GPS module with compass so um, and with a soldered connector good to go so uh, as soon as I figure out which cable which um, plug that's supposed to go into in here um, you know I'll be able to plug that in and uh, uh, calibrate that probably on a nicer day to that than today it's a bit windy but um, so the GPS and compass good to go here we have oh, just some mounting brackets and uh, I think that should be, I may or may not need to use those, probably makes sense to use them. I'll probably mount those mounting brackets on the plane that I'm going to test this on. Uh, my intention is to test this on a kind of more or less a throwaway plane to start with, and which may be a Bixler 2. I have a Bixler 2 that, an old Bixler 2 that is sort of um, being brought back from the dead. And if I get the uh, prop adapters, in, uh, in the mail that I've ordered, then I'll fire up that Bixler 2 and it's quite likely that I'll be mounting the Pix Racer in the Bixler 2. And this, these mounting bays, which should be um, what I need to do that. And here we have um, pretty much, uh, it's just a basically a mounting antenna for mounting the GPS. So to, to basically mount the GPS and have it sort of sit above the plane something like the, the Bixler, I may well just uh, attach the GPS to the top of the plane, um, but you know, I have this as an option as well. And that 
my friends, is uh, the complete package. Um, so, there's supposed to be an SD card in here somewhere. But the SD card is required for, oh yes it is, it comes with an SD card, there it is. So it is a 4 gig SD card um, included in the package and it's already in the flight controller. So you can just pop that, see if it's going to stay in properly, there we go. So that's, uh, that's one of the nicer things about this package. So what if I've got everything figured out here, I've got the flight controller with the plastic shell, check. Uh, the safety switch and buzzer, check. The 4 gig SD card that keeps popping out, popped out again. I don't know, maybe that does sit like that. It just sort of sits a little bit out. Okay. So the SD card, a card reader. Oh, here it is. Okay. There is a card reader. Everything as promised. Um, that's a card reader so that I can pop that into the computer for transferring videos, for example, or um, log files. Actually, it'd be more like log files that I'd want to transfer in here. Um, there's a bit of double-sided tape for attaching potentially. I think the controller itself, or maybe one of the mounting brackets for the side of the plane, or to the top of the plane. So, um, I think, just make sure I keep track of those things. But, um, cables, oh, this is a Wi-Fi module, here we go. Okay, this is a ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, also comes included, and, um, does seem to have some connectors here, so maybe I don't need to do any soldering for that because I got a feeling this seems like it might fit into that set of sockets on the top, maybe. Um, yeah, let's just say ESP, ESP, and FRS, um, and there's yeah, it seems like. Um, there's also, it says ESC here, so somewhere there's a connector that goes to the ESC there, I'm not exactly clear where, and this is for telemetry, this is for the RC in, I don't know what that is, and debug, CAN, whatever CAN is, um, and so here, this is definitely, okay, here's a buzzer safety switch, so that, that goes in here, like that's clear. Okay, that one, that buzzer safety switch goes in here. Power is here. Um, oh, so this is where our power supply would click in, connect in, so this will be the power. So that's nice. Um, I think this is going to be, this is saying FRS, so I think that's what this plug has got to be FRS, because otherwise these labels don't make any sense. It's basically the label on each side match, typically matches the plug. So telemetry, this plug. FRS, uh, sorry, RC in this plug. GPS, this plug, which will be this one. Um, and then on this side, we've got FRS, this plug, and safety switches, other safety switch, this plug. This one is power, and this is EPS, and so the only thing that makes sense is for this is EPS, which really has to be this. And I'm going to have to just, uh, there's just doesn't, there's, the problem with EPS is that there's, there's eight, so eight pins on here, and there's ten pins on the socket, so, um, you know, does it go this side, or does it go this side? I mean, I'm going to guess this side, but probably guessing is not a good idea. Guessing might tend to fry things. Um, we've got a USB, that's fine. Telemetry, uh, I don't think we have anything to plug into telemetry at this point. And there's our micro SD, so that makes sense. And then a second telemetry socket and uh, RCIN, RCIN, and GPS. So I, I think we're pretty good um, in terms of um, most of what is going on here. I really do need to assume that um, that the receiver is going to go into one of these um, servo sockets here, I think. Uh, I guess we, we shall find out.